Hello everyone, this is Hiro Uzuki, and welcome to my Let's Play of Armored Core Fires of Rubicon. And right now, all I have to say is, we have crossed the Rubicon, after a long and excruciating wait. And Rubicon 2, and landed right on Rubicon 3, because apparently that's where this game is taking place. I still think that this could easily fit into the Armored Core 1 and 2 timeline. Or, if we really wanted to stretch this idea out, it could fit into the Armored Core 3 timeline, but... Well, that last one's a bit of a long shot. Uh, don't mind that, I uh, started up the game a little bit ago, just to make sure everything was working right. And just in case there was any uh, user agreements that had to be gone through, which... Surprise, surprise, there were! It's fine, I didn't even do anything. It's not like I'm losing anything. There, can I get to the game now, please? I'm tired of waiting. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. And who are you talking about? Verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human C461. Oh, great. Human awakened. plus enhancements are allowed here. Don't that a bitch. First PS5 game for my PS5, and what a hell of a game it's looking to be so far. Now, activate the AC. No orbital defenses. Oh, that's an orbital defense cannon. I'm assuming you planned for this, Walter. Reception. Nothing like a one way ticket to start off my career as a Raven for this campaign. First things first, I need a control test. Let's see how this rig handles. System. Activating combat mode. Okay, so we don't backpedal, we just... Walk around, okay. Boosters work just fine. Emergency boosting. Over boosting works just fine. Laser point the left arm, left trigger. Wasn't where blades overheated. We must have got this thing at a scrapyard or something. I'm going to go ahead and assume, accurately, that the right trigger handles my right arm weapon. Thank you, but I understand how energy works. Contrary to what you might think, this isn't my first rodeo. I've been a raven longer than most people playing this game. Clear out those guard mechs. Perfect chance to test your AC. Target assist. I just 
suppose some people need help now and then. The only other reason I can think of why anyone would use this would be for laser blades. Okay. bummed out we're having to use a clip system for my weapons but I suppose we can't go back to the good old days of Armored Core 3 and prior games repair kits I'm worried that these could make me complacent make me reckless already taken care of repair kits remaining see the contaminated city down there that's where you're landing is it now Access the catapult. I'm getting some Armored Core 4 flashbacks. For the stock model, doesn't look half bad. The AC. If we get our hands on Rubicon's coral, we'll make a killing. Neat. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to Excuse buy Excuse you. Back. My brain happens to be just fine, thank you. Valid license. We're illegals here. You'll need Is that right? Operate. I wasn't aware it was illegal to be a mercenary anywhere. Right, so I would have started playing this game a lot earlier, but because I uh, downloaded a digital copy of the game, I had to wait until 11 p.m. to start playing, and the way has been excruciating. Salt boost. You mean over boosting? I'm picking up signals from AC Rex. Follow the markers. So, would I be able to salvage parts from these Rex? Surely there's gotta be some working parts on them. So clearly, we got my blade at some discount store because it overheats. Extract the pilot data. I'll analyze it from my end. Are you sure there's no functioning parts on this thing that I can take? Thomas Kirk, rank 26E, independent, and expired license. Can't use that, can we? This one's already Well now. 
I guess. Keep a low profile. We don't want them breathing down our necks. All right, but I'm telling you now, if he takes shots at me, I'm putting him down. I don't like getting shot at after all. No self-respecting Merc does, though. Alright, what do we got here? Analyzing. Are you sure there's nothing we can salvage from this beast? G7 Hakra. Rank 22D. Balam Industries. License expires in 12 hours. So, half the time of Last Raven. We can still get a lot of stuff done in that kind of time. Though, the fact that it's affiliated with an industry might be a problem. Corp license, easily traced. Forget it. What he said. you. We obviously got this rifle on the cheap too. Only a 20 round clip, that's pathetic. All right, how about this one? Monkey Gordo. Certainly an interesting call sign. Has no rank, independent. Expires in 15 days. What do you think? It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. I've picked up one more rank, 621. Where is it? Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. Vertical catapult. You can use that vertical catapult to get some altitude. All right. That's it. Try accessing the wreck. All right. What have we got? We got company. What? Looks like they were on to you after all. Let it be known that he already started taking shots at me. It doesn't matter. Take it out now. They won't have enough to ID you. Use your mobility in the air to get clear of explosions on the ground.
working on it. Give me a moment. Solved. Confirmed. Heavy combat helicopter is down. That's all for our work here today, 621. Here's the call sign from that license you picked up. Let's hear it. Neat. Rank F, huh? Fires in three days. Don't care much for the rank, but I think we can make that work. That's just me thinking out loud, though. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Works for me. Illegal entry. No, it's not illegal. We just, um, took alternative means to get planet side. Yeah. Cola, a sublime substance. Is it now? Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit. Poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. But... They called it the Fires of Ibis. A storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. So it's basically like Kojima Particles. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However... On Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return. So we're basically glorified to coal miners. Fire. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Good to meet you, Welcome I back, guess. Raven. I still prefer Global Cortex, but this will work. Looks like you passed the authentication. Looks like. Raven, that's who you are now. So I've always been I've in this line of business. For you already. Take a look, 621. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Is Your that license right? is in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. That is some incentive. Stand to benefit regardless. Right, so because I pre-ordered the game, I got a free AC out of the whole deal. Pre-order bonus, you know that. But we're gonna go ahead and pretend like that's not there for now. We're gonna stick with the stock model. For now. And for now, we're gonna go gonna go ahead and stop here while the stopping is good. I mean, I am very tempted to just jump right into the next mission, but I feel like we should stop here. Because it's a good stopping point. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, leave you a comment, and hitting that bell to stay updated with more videos from me. With that, this is Hiro Izuki, signing off. 
Oh, I am very much looking forward to our new campaign here. Very much looking forward to it. <laughs>